Outside of the crazy hustle and bustle of LAX is a private suite for the rich and famous and for you, if you're willing to pay for it. We've talked about airport lounges on this channel before, but this one is next level, you guys. The private suite at LAX is the first of its kind. It's not even in the actual airport, but rather it's a back door to get into the airport and it's much more convenient. I got to visit before my flight a couple weeks ago and I'll show you guys inside one of the bougiest and most exclusive lounges that you can go to. But before we get into it, I wanted to thank Omaze for sponsoring this video. You guys know Omaze by now. They give away really cool prizes while supporting awesome charities. This time they're giving away a Tesla Model X Plaid, but not just any Tesla Model X Plaid. This is an unplugged Tesla Apex Plaid. So the people over at Unplugged made this the coolest Tesla ever. So they gave it a gorgeous cognac colored vegan bamboo leather interior, which is a first for Tesla, a satin white vinyl wrapped exterior, a wide body kit and carbon fiber accents. So it really is a one of a kind Tesla. Taxes and shipping are included for US winners. This Tesla goes zero to 60 in 1.99 seconds, making it the fastest accelerating production vehicle ever. And this giveaway is supporting the Juju Foundation. So this was founded by the Kansas City Chiefs and former USC wide receiver, Juju Smith-Schuster. The Juju Foundation is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the support of youth initiatives and lifting the spirit of those in need. These initiatives include Juju's Great Bicycle Giveaway, which provides bicycles and locks to underserved youth around the country, and the Juju Foundation Scholarship Program. So for your chance to win an unplugged Tesla S Apex Plaid, go to omaze.com church. I'll also have it linked down below. And that's where you can enter for your chance to win and support the Juju Foundation. All right, now into the private suite. So LAX is a huge airport and normally to enter, you have to go through this mess. It's pretty stressful and time consuming. There's almost always some traffic in there. The private suite, however, is completely separated and it's actually accessible just from a regular road. So you don't have to even enter the airport traffic. This area is of course very secure. You have to have a reservation to get in. They'll valet your car if you want, but if you Uber in, they will whisk away your luggage immediately so you don't even have to touch it. Here's a look at the main building with most of the private suites. It's got an indoor outdoor hallway and there's actually two different kinds of lounges here. There's the actual private suites which are completely private rooms and there's the salon area which is a more public but still just as nice option. Let's start with the salon area. If you're not a member of the private suite it's gonna cost you $995 to enter this lounge before your flight. The salon is decorated like the lobby of a really nice five-star hotel. Once you're in here, it's all inclusive. You can get whatever kind of drinks or food that you want and they have top quality, top shelf alcohol and food. There's a couple of showers that you can use here before or after your flight. So this is a look inside of this bathroom, a really big size shower. It's very dark in here. So I think it would be really relaxing actually before you go on a long flight. And what's cool about this bathroom is everything is included in here also. So they have all kinds of extras. If you forgot eye drops, if you want a sleep mask, any of the products in here you can take with you free of charge. Well, you're paying for it, but it's included in the cost. And this is really just the start of things that are included, just stay tuned. Of course, they've got the really nice Le Labo hand soap. This stuff smells amazing. I had a limited amount of time to shoot this before my flight, so unfortunately I didn't capture every amenity that they have, but here's the full list. You can get your nails done, you can get your car washed, you can have a doctor come and see you, and you can also be chauffeured to and from the private suite. Let's talk about the food. You are not gonna find a buffet in this lounge. Oh no, everything is made to order. You can reserve what you'd like the night before if you want. You can even get caviar. This was the first time I've ever had caviar before. I had to try it. I mean, this is over $100 if you get it at a restaurant, but since it's included in the cost here, I figured this is the time to try it. I liked it. They had it paired with these little mini pancakes. So you put the caviar on there, you put this little aioli and some chives. And yeah, it was a delicious little snack before my flight. 
So if you're someone who likes to get the free drinks at the airport lounges, you might know at the Delta Lounge, they're giving you just like cheap champagne. Here in the private suite, you're getting nice champagne. They've got quite a variety and I got a glass of Vouv, which is normally $50 a bottle. The lounge is pretty small. There's not gonna be a ton of people in it like most of the airport lounges. And it had a really relaxed vibe. It was a really nice place to hang out before a flight. Now let's talk about the actual private suites. All right, welcome to one of the private suites. Let's take a look inside. If you're not a member, it's $4,650 to go through this, but you can bring guests into it, and I would guess you could probably fit like 10 people in here. The actual private suites feel like a five-star hotel room just with no bed. They're very tastefully decorated in a way that is cooler and definitely more trendy than most of the airport lounges. So you're actually able to order food the day before you get here, and it's just ready to go when you get here. So I got some avocado toast, it looks beautiful. We have a burger here. It's awesome. It's like fully what you would get at a restaurant. And I also ordered an oat milk latte. Not even saying this because I'm making a video. This was one of the best avocado toasts I've ever had. It was so good. So I'm assuming all the food here is probably on this level. So great. Fresh fruit, coffee, but I mean, you could go crazy here and order like a lot more because it's all included in the cost. Being in the actual suite, it just feels like you're in a really nice hotel room. You don't go through the airport at all. So it feels kind of like you're flying private. So over here, you've got a mini bar, kind of feels similar to a hotel room mini bar, but all of this is complimentary, um, included in the price. So not technically free, but in a way, they're not charging you more for it. They've got all kinds of awesome snacks here. You've got RX bars, Smart Sweet. We've got like all these different chips. Oh, M&Ms. You've got some fresh fruit here. They even give you like a little kind of like lunchbox sort of thing to bring it with you. So this is empty and you can fill it with stuff to bring on the plane with you. So there's like some sodas, cold brew, refrigerated Milano cookies, love that. This here, like this is not cheap. So yeah, pretty nice that it comes with that. Of course, you've got some glasses that you can drink out of. So you can really make yourself at home here. You feel like you're in like a really nice home, honestly. It's very, very nice. Okay, over here is the entryway. This is where you walk in. They've got this really nice console and tables. Again, feels like a really luxury hotel, right? And they did not skimp on the bathroom. The bathroom is incredible. This is definitely nicer than an airport bathroom, right? So you've got over here some complimentary, I guess, medication. So like NyQuil, if you need that, Mucinex, you can take these with you. And then over here, they have Le Labo hand soap. This is really nice, expensive hand soap if you guys aren't familiar with it. It smells so good. So that's pretty cool. Oh, this is a hand sanitizer. And over here, you've got a Le Labo candle, which they have burning when you come in. So just a really nice ambiance and then a bunch more complimentary stuff you can take with you if you need it. So over here, everything for your teeth. Got a mouthwash, toothpaste, Q-tips, a little deodorant, all kinds of stuff. And then there's a lint roller. I mean, oh, dry, oh, hairspray, shoe shine. Over here, we've got a razor. Honestly, might take that. There's not a shower in this bathroom, but there are showers available that you can use in one of the other areas. And then there's even more medicine. And like I've said, all of this you can use there or you can take it to go for free. So over here is a cozy little nook by the window that's pretty large, like probably like five people could sit on this. And then you also have more complimentary. I think this stuff is complimentary. I'll have to double check. But say you forgot your charger, you've got that, earbuds for the flights, earplugs, all kinds of stuff, a neck pillow. Oh, a sleep mask. This is my section, honestly. This is like 
the stuff I need. Travel adapter for international flights. You can look out onto the cars that are gonna shuttle you to your plane. And you can see some planes out there, but overall it's very peaceful in here. It's nothing like being in an airport. Like I do not feel like we're in the airport at all. When it was getting close to our flight, our concierge came and grabbed us and took us through the security. They have their own TSA in here and there's no line. It's literally, it's just you and whoever you're traveling with. And after that, they take you to one of the cars and drive drive you directly to the plane. This is one of the coolest things about the private suite service. All of the cars are really luxurious. This was a town car, it had water. It was definitely a very expensive car. It was just really comfortable and nice. And driving through this area where all the planes are taking off is actually a really cool experience. It was cool to see everything up close. You never really get this view when you're in the actual airport. Of course, it's really convenient. You don't have to walk through the airport, but but it's also just, it surprised me how fun it was just to look around when you're in the car. And once you're there, they will unload your bags for you and get you on that flight. And we were actually the first ones on the plane. And the funny thing is we went through this really nice expensive private suite, but we actually flew economy. So, you know, gotta stay humble. So that is a look inside the private suite. There's even more to this place, but I was on a time crunch cause you only get a few hours here before your flight. So this is what I was able to capture. It was such a cool experience. Hope that you guys enjoyed getting a look inside the way that celebrities travel through LAX and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.